I'm currently at Surprise View Car Park in the Hope Valley and for the last 24 hours I've been on a photography workshop and I've absolutely loved it. But I'll explain a little bit more about that later on. I mainly shoot sunrise photography and the only trouble with sunrise is that if you don't know a location you've got to get fairly lucky with the composition because it's dark when you arrive and then you've got that very brief window of opportunity to actually shoot i suppose the beauty with sunset is that you've got you know at least a couple of hours to walk around find a composition mark it okay that one will do move on try and find something better and if you can't find anything better go back to the one that you originally shot so that's my plan today it's just to walk around and try and find something of interest and better it each time until i'm very close to sunset and then choose one of the locations well as i've been walking around i've been tempted to take an image and it's of it it's of this silver birch tree kind of down in a, a gully or a little valley um, and the sun is just catching it really nice at the moment and i don't think it's going to improve as the sun goes down in fact i think this composition could actually get worse so i'm going to take it now while the tree is nicely illuminated and because it's a silver birch i think it looks a little bit kind of punchy in the towards the background which is which is very dark and i've chosen two different compositions uh, slightly around the corner i have some rocks in the foreground and the composition i'm currently standing on i'm going to focus purely on the tree and then i'm going to choose which one i like the best but either way in my mind i'm thinking a square crop Well, I'm at the top and I can only imagine that this is the surprise view where I'm currently sitting. And uh, it is a beautiful view, I must admit. But compositionally, I do think the ridge line that I was currently on was better. Where I am here, you've got the ridge in between that and the valley. Whereas when you're on the ridge, you're straight into the valley. So I think being up here is fantastic for the view. But for a composition, I think I'm better off at the ridge. So if I explain very quickly, um, I was on a two day workshop and it was broken up into quarters, you might say. Now we shot yesterday afternoon in, well, we started at 2.30, so the sun was really high. And we started on the other side of the road to the car park in the woodland there. Um, and then we came up on this side of the road uh, for sunset. So that ridge line that I've currently walked around, we did get that, go there last night, uh, but we didn't go as far as, as I've been along there. We stopped almost at the first composition that we, we came across, and it was really nice. It might even be the best composition of this vlog, I'm not too sure, but I will put that image up. Um, and then this morning, uh, we shot Sunrise, and do you know what, for the life of me, I can't remember where we went, but I'll put the, the, the name up uh, at the bottom here. And then in the afternoon, we, uh, we looked at some printing, some photos. So it was, I've never been on a workshop before, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I was, I got out of this workshop exactly what I wanted. Um, and I have to choose my words carefully, because I don't want anyone to, Kind of misconstrue what I'm about to say but there was nothing groundbreaking that I was taught which is exactly what I wanted to hear but what I did get out of this and I got so many small subtle tips where I think my improvement of photography if it was a graph uh, for the first two years it kind of or at least for the first year it went quite steep and then the second year where I am now it started to plateau out a little bit but to get to the next level where I want to be, it's these very subtle, subtle changes along the way. And that's what I got out of this workshop. So there may not be a major improvement in my photography. Well, I know there won't be immediately, but if I can start implementing all these subtle changes, I think in another 12 months, 
I'll see that I've improved dramatically. I've just got to put it into practice now. <laughs> right, come on, let's get back down to that ridge line. Well, after all my scouting, <laughs> I've actually ended up at the composition that we was at last night. But, let me explain. This composition is definitely better than any of the others. And for the simple reason is, I really like this kind of grass, this yellow grass in, in the foreground. And that was something that the other composition didn't have. But I wasn't desperate for it because obviously I got this shot last night, but the sky is different tonight. Um, or at least it is at the moment. The sun's still a little bit high, but earlier there were some sun rays coming through. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't actually get set up quick enough before they was gone um, but there is a little bit of cloud there at the moment and I am hoping that that cloud's going to hold and I can get a landscape shot of this where last night it was portrait and I've been battling with this I've had my umbrella up but the wind's taking the umbrella and I've got lens flares and then I've got the umbrella in the shot I've been really I've been really trying hard for this shot but at the moment I've not been successful um, but it would be nice if I can get a landscape shot of this with more of the valley in. Well, unfortunately, this is landscape photography for you, I suppose. You've either got too much sun or not enough. And now there's a band of cloud um, just above the horizon there. And that sun has gone below that band of cloud and it's completely flat light. Now, I did take five bracketed shots, but they did have lens flares. But I took a sixth. Um, just when that sun was just going below that band of cloud so I may be able to incorporate that image into the final image I'm not too sure I'm gonna head down now I'm gonna pack up because I leave tomorrow but I have to come past here in the morning so I think I'll come back tomorrow morning um, and give this one last shot but lower down in the woodland and I'll do this at sunrise but what I will do I'll show you the images from last night Oh, I'm having a nightmare morning. I got to the car park at about 20 past five and the gates are locked. I can't believe it. There's actually vehicles that have been locked in there overnight. And I've driven up and I've driven down and I just can't find a lay-by within about two miles of that car park. Um, so I'm kind of currently sitting in one of the small villages at the moment. Just gonna have to go back up there at about six o'clock and just hope they open it for sunrise because if not this morning's over oh, what a shame well while i've been waiting to get into the car park i've just watched one of mally's videos and if you don't subscribe to mally go and check him out and i'll i'll put the link up here to mally's channel don't be afraid of buying second down a lot of people think they can get into photography buy a lot of gear very expensively and then get shot that's where we come in. So what we've got here, let's get down like, let's get down like David Bellamy. So as you can see, in the wild, we have the D750 in all its glory. Careful, it's a bit of a beast. <laughs> I love Mally. He's off his rocker. Well, that didn't quite go to plan this morning, did it? Um, but driving up and down the road, kind of just like looking for some sort of lay-by, um, I, I just couldn't find anything. But as it's got a little bit lighter, what I've seen is there's, there's mist there holding in the valley. Um, and where I've actually kind of parked the, the, the van at the moment is an entrance to some farmland and there is a big sign saying 24 hour access now they probably don't need that but I want to be respectful so 
I am going to stay here. I would really like to kind of wander down here a little bit and try and find the composition. But, you know, as I say, it's not my property, so I've got to be respectful. So I'm literally going to set up on this very small pavement. And that I can hear a car coming around the bed now. So I've got to keep my eye on, on the road as well. Right, let me get set up. I can't believe how busy this road is at quarter past six on a Sunday morning. Right, let me talk you through this, this shot uh, before any more cars come. So I've got the 70 to 200 mil lens on at the moment and I've zoomed in to about 100 mil. Now there's a really nice little silver birch tree on the left hand side of this shot and it doesn't add a lot but it's quite a subtle detail that I quite like. So I want to keep that in the image and I'm thinking possibly like a 16 by 9 crop. Now. I've got the gate in the centre and I've got the hills on the top third of the image. I've got a 0.6 and a 0.9 soft grad filter on here. Hang on, there's another car coming. And I've also taken five bracketed shots. Now, I'm only going to use two of them images, um, but the underexposed images is, is giving off a nice kind of pink hue to the sky. Now I also think that this image is a little bit kind of bottom heavy with the trees but under the circumstances this is the best composition that I could find and quite frankly I'm quite pleased with it so I'll show you the image now. Well, the gate to the car park is finally open, but I think all I'm going to do here today is the ending to this video. And I think it's time now for me to leave Hope Valley and make the three and a half hour trip back home. But as always, thank you ever so much for watching, and until the next video, see ya.